Polly Scoopers. Plaid is rad and back in season. And I am loving it and tis the season to add lots and lots of hair because extra long hair extensions is the hottest craze to hit you square in the head. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> and cockroach milk WTF. This is all coming up right now on Holly Scoops Trending Topics. How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Devin Howard. And this is Holly Scoop's Trending Topics. The first thing we're gonna talk about is plaid. Mm -hmm. Let's just jump right into this rad plaid trend <laughs> because if you haven't stocked up on this yet, you guys are going to want to. It is the it thing to have in your closet this fall. Yeah, it's absolutely everywhere. I know. You kind of went and tried out some plaid trends correct? I did. Um, so I know that our boss, Diana Madison, rocked a super cute plaid dress. She talked about it in her YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And it's yellow. It gave me so much like clueless vibes. Didn't it give you clueless oh, vibes? Oh, a thousand percent. I was obsessed. You guys, take a quick look. This is a beautiful dress from Lovers and Friends. Why I chose this dress is because, first of all, it's summery, but yet it feels like it's going into fall because we see a lot of plaid for fall. I want to look like I'm moving into fall even though it's really hot outside and I think this dress is a fun way to go look at this hot slit right there it's like so sexy and then so you were a little inspired would you say I was inspired I love the way Diana's dress was summery yet also had that fall trend mm -hmm. it was cute it was a little sexy without being too much so I decided I need to go out and check out my own plaid pattern looks and uh, here just take a look at my experience I'm going to be exploring the plaid pattern it seems like it's falls craze right now everything is coming in plaid from pants to jackets shirts skirts everything so I'm going to try on a couple of things and see if it works for me found my first plaid thing it's just like a little button up with some ruffle detailing on the bottom Definitely not something I would normally try. I don't know what is going on here, but this is not good, people. This is not good. This is like a pajama top and it's so large. What the heck? All right, so as you can see, mm -hmm. my first store stop was not a huge success. I was finding that a lot of the um, sh shirts and stuff that, that were available were very bulky and lots of fabric, really wide and super just like heavy and overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But I ended up finding some nice fitted dresses and this skirt. Yeah, please show everyone. You are actually rocking plaid right now. I sure am. Okay, so this <laughs> is the skirt. I feel like this is giving me really like a major schoolgirl throwback. And yes. It's just cute, you know, the colors are super fall. It's a mini skirt, so it's not going to be so like overpowering. And when right. you pair it with something like, you know, this mesh turtleneck, mm -hmm. something a little bit more simple, it ends up looking sexy and flirty and fun without being too like, hey, I'm going back to private school. <laughs> 30 flirty and thriving. I oh, know you're not 30, yes. but still. Not so quite this yet. is clearly a really good look that can take you from summer into fall easily. And you guys, don't forget that if you want to be caught up on the hottest fashion and beauty trends, of course you can watch us here on Holly Scoops Trending Topics, but you can also check out our founder and boss Diana Madison's YouTube channel at Diana Madison because she has you covered. Real quick before we move on, I do want to talk about some celebs that have been rocking plaid like Bella Hadid, Jordan Woods, um, and another one of Kylie Jenner's BFFs, Stassi. So if they're doing it and Diana's doing it and Devin's doing it, <laughs> clearly I need to get on board you with the plaid. need to get on board. It is the fall look to have. Okay. It's very cute and you can wear it in a lot of different, you can use it in a lot of different ways, skirts, jackets, shirts, whatever, even boots. I've seen plaid boots. It's wow. everywhere. That's a little far, but I don't know. <laughs> I like okay, now this next trend is something that I probably will not get on board with. Extra long hair extensions. Um, so it is a bit extra, if you would want to say. <laughs> uh, but it can also get a little messy, but it's what celebs have been doing for the past couple of months, and we're just gonna keep talking about it. I mean, because now they've really gone above and beyond with the extra long hair extensions. Yeah. Some might say that uh, Nicki Minaj is the originator of this trend. This she is. Controversial Nicki Minaj these days. <laughs> wow, we're not gonna get into that, though. Um, Ariana Grande is also very on board with this. Kylie Jenner. Kendall Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez, Rita Ora. 
I mean, the list goes on and on. What do you think? Okay, I am, I love long hair. Long hair is beautiful, it's gorgeous. I don't have long hair right now, you don't have long hair right now. Never will. We're kind of keeping it like a little bit on the short side. Mm -hmm. But I think that these extra long hair extensions are just overkill. Yes. I mean, imagine trying to go to the bathroom with hair down to your knees. I mean, that's just, this sounds like a gross. disaster. A yeah. I also imagine it to be really heavy. Like, I mean, how can you do a hair flip if you got all that going on? It just seems really, really uncomfortable. And it would just get stuck in, yeah. in the car door. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. I think I'm gonna stick to keeping my uh, my short my short hair. Yeah, me too. But the celebs, you guys, you know, I guess they don't have to worry about all of those mundane things like us normal people they do. They have people so who take care of exactly. it. Exactly, <laughs> they, can, they can just keep their long hair. Okay, the very last trend we're gonna talk about, prepare yourselves, it's very out there and it is actually disgusting, but it will do wonders for your skin. Ugh. Cockroach milk. <laughs> now we know celebs will do just about anything to stay young and fresh and ageless, and this trend just might be the next thing that they're trying because it is a new health obsession, according to Marie Claire. Um, cockroach milk is comprised of nutrient-rich milk crystals found inside a cockroach. Oh, it's apparently one of the oh most nourishing and highly caloric substances on the planet. It promotes cell growth, lipids that keep our bodies healthy, and sugars that fuel for energy. Ew. Nope, I'm not done. It can help <laughs> get rid of acne, and it could be good for your hair and health. Okay, no, 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 absolutely not, never. If you don't want a cockroach on your floor, what are you doing ingesting it? I I honestly have no words. When this was brought up, I was just like, I would like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. Ugh. I mean, for some reason, our generation just wants the fountain of youth so badly that we are willing to literally ingest I don't even, I was gonna say rodents, but cockroaches aren't rodents. Disgusting little bugs, okay? Ugh. It is disgusting. I will not do cockroach milk. I think I'll stick to collagen, <laughs> another trend, health trend that helps with your hair and skin and nails that's much more uh, not disgusting. I don't know how else to say. I guess it's not as disgusting, but Holly Scoopers, if you are wanting nice hair and nice skin and nice nails, Eat an avocado, have some spinach, you know? Be have vegan some like nuts. Devin, you know? <laughs> but seriously, eat all the guacamole you want. Stop eating cockroaches. Yes. That does not sound like a good idea for anybody involved, the cockroaches or you. Do you think the celebrities will jump onto this trend? Ugh, I, I hope not, but yeah, probably. I totally see it happening. It, like, season 20 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, they're gonna be milking their own cockroaches. And that's apparently how you milk a cockroach, people. I like, don't know, I'm making it up. Can we, we just, like this just, uh. I, I, this is, I've never had such strong opinions about a trend on trending topics. This, ooh. Okay, like, oh. I know, I know. All right, all right, my little PETA advocate over there. It's you just guys, gross. <laughs> you guys, let me know what you think about all of these trending topics. What do you think about the plaid? What do you think about extra long hair extensions? And please let it rip about what you think about the cockroach milk. Talk it all out down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys here next time on Holly Scoops Trending Topics.